Hey guys, uh, Fro here. So uh, today we live with Fro. We are going to do day one review of of what you see back there, the KZ Escape. The KZ Escape 1972. It has the hatchback, which is uh, which is really beautiful. Uh, so this is the first weekend that I took it out, and um, I can say it's exactly it's exactly what I thought it would be. Um, uh, inside, you have the hatchback. When you open it up, you get a really good um, view. There are a couple of things as a first-time RV owner that I, I still have to get used to, which is just making sure you fill up your tank before you leave. The stabilizers in there weren't quite the way I wanted it to be. Bear with me. All right. Ah, the stabilizers back there weren't where I wanted to be. The towing of the Tacoma was pretty good, so I, I can't complain really about that. Um, what else? This area did not have a. Um, we're kind of in that crazy period right now where all the campsites are, are, are being booked up very quickly. So this is almost like boondocking. I, I didn't have electricity, I didn't have water, so I didn't even use the bathroom at all. One of the things I really wanted to test was how to do uh, the drain of the tank, so the black water and the grey water, and just get used to it. Uh, so I didn't get to do it today, which is okay. Uh, I'm gonna try that next time. Another thing which I didn't get to do really was the electrical part of it, so to put the search, to, to put it to the electrical outlet. And I bought the surge protector on Amazon, link in the description below. It did not arrive on time, so I was kind of happy that this doesn't have electricity because I don't want to be running electricity in there without that surge protector. Uh, but apart from that, it was um, it was really good. I slept well. The mattress, I have to change that for sure. I haven't changed that yet uh, on the bed. Uh, so I need to get a queen mattress for that. And then, uh, what else? I need to get a lot of carpet in there. I really need to make it home. I don't think it's, I've, I've, I've made it home just yet. A lot of things are just still kind of getting used. I'm still getting used to it. It's like when you get a house for the first time, uh, you kind of have to get used to it. But uh, but apart from that, I think it was really good. It's kind of what I, I thought about, what I dreamt about, why I got it. Um, it's an investment to me, you know. Uh, and it's not an investment in the thing itself because that's almost like throwing money away when you buy something like that that goes bad. But it's an investment in the experience. Like right now, if I wanted to get a nap, I can just go in there, sleep, and you know, with the tent, you can do it, but you know, it's not as comfortable as this. So that is definitely a plus. And then um, when I get to be at the location where I can connect the, the electricity and the seawall, I think that would be really, really good. Then that way I can try the AC, I can try taking a shower, and maybe a few other things. So my goal now is is to do more of this closer to the city i'm just like 40 minutes or 30 minutes at most from the city to do more of this get used to the to the camper itself get used to the experience just get, get used to to everything like last night i was making dinner and i didn't have salt <laughs> believe it or not so uh I, there's a lot of things that i still need to get uh, right and i think once i get all of that right and it should be uh, it should be it should be very good uh, for for it. So what do I feel day one? Uh, brand new camper. What are the lessons learned? If I was gonna summarize it, it's number one. It's uh, it's like any new thing, right? You're gonna make mistakes, um, and I'm just kind of. I watch a lot of videos, by the way, so I do have certain expectations, but. You know, uh, if I make any mistake, for example, my leveling is just off, I think I, I'm going to figure that out, maybe get some wood. And then number two, the whole goal for this is to enjoy nature. My goal is not to enjoy the RV. That should be the least of my, my problems. So when I'm out here, I want to be out hiking. See, I have my hiking shoes. Not worrying about that. So that's kind of what I want to keep in mind, that... Um, the goal for me buying that was to extend my ability to be out and to hike and to spend time in nature and not to spend time in there uh, as, as, as much, right? I really don't care about the inside, I care about experiencing the nature and hiking and all of that. So um, there you have it, day one. I'm going to you know, make more videos as we go and hopefully share the experience with you guys. Again, thanks for tuning in and watching. This is Life with Fru. I'll see you in the next video.